stories that matter most for Fort Lauderdale. This is FTL City News. Hello, I'm Mark Fine, and welcome to your local only Fort Lauderdale newscast. We start with a story that combines holiday spirit and national recognition for our fair city. Carol and Lisa Sablik recently won a Christmas light competition on a national network TV show. We paid them a visit to see their masterpiece and to find out how they made it happen. So it's been a blast. The neighbors have all been watching us grow each year. And yeah. that, that's the fun part. We've seen like kids grow up. We've been part of their story growing up. It's about two and a half months worth of work. We start at the end of September, beginning of October, and we finish up normally right around Thanksgiving. A team of two. Just the, the two, two of us. The two of us. Everything you see here is two of us. That's why it takes two and a half months. Yeah, this is true. <laughs> and a lot of Advil. <laughs> when we finally finish it in the, the light up night, the first night, because when we hit the switch, all you hear out in the middle of the street is, yay! So I was like, that's like, there it is. That was the, t that's my two and a half month payment right there. We love Christmas. We love the passion of Christmas. Um, and we also are involved in a rescue. So bringing people here, sharing this with them, the community, and then bringing visibility onto the rescue that we collect donations for, it's just all worked out really, really well for us. We have visitors anywhere from 100 years old to, you know, three months old. You know, so we see the vast majority. And, you know, each person, whether you're young or you're older, you know, they get the same joy out of it. And it's that joy that I think keeps us going. Again, the Sablik House won a national TV competition. They said winning was exciting and humbling all at the same time. Now, if you want to take a look for yourself, the address is 2418 Whale Harbor Lane. Trust me, it is worth the drive. Now to another holiday tradition, Greece. Yeah, not as much fun, but we know you're going to be doing a lot of cooking for the family and for friends during the holidays, so we've got an important reminder. Can the grease... Yes, give the gift of free-flowing sewers. Never pour fats, oils, or greases down the drain. Look at how nasty this is. The leftover ingredients can create these sewage backups. They can even create failures at sewage pumping stations. Here's what you need to do instead. Pour cooking oils into old cans, milk containers, or other packages, and dispose in your garbage cart. Use a paper towel to wipe dishes and pots to remove grease prior to washing and place fat trimmings from meat into your black trash cart. Do not put them in your garbage disposal. Okay, now more kudos for FXE, Fort Lauderdale's executive airport. FXE received the Project Management Institute's Project of the Year under the leadership of Director Rufus James. The airport was able to complete the Foxtrot relocation project during the pandemic. This project ensures that FXE is up to date on all FAA runway and taxiway criteria. This was a $7 million project that took about a year and a half total. Again, congratulations to all involved. Now we finish with news from our strategic communications department. We were recently honored with a Suncoast Emmy for a story we did on Bobby Williams. Bobby works in the Parks and Rec department. Now, we're proud and we will grudgingly take some credit, but the credit really belongs to Bobby. Here's another look at his Emmy award-winning story. The start to another magnificent day in Fort Lauderdale. The sun comes up over the water. The city wakes up. Some sit and sip their coffee. Others get a little exercise before heading to work. But some people have already been working for hours, making sure our city is beautiful every single day for its residents and its guests. Bobby Williams has been working for the city of Fort Lauderdale for 31 years. Do I maintain the sidewalk, the wall, dirt, gum, 
glass, I clean up all that. I get up all different times, two o'clock, four o'clock, whatever time you tell me to come, I jump on it and keep going. And while you might think a pre-dawn alarm clock and manual labor seems onerous, Bobby certainly does not. It is hard work, but you were saying, I'm a happy person, you know, I like to get the stuff done, speak to everybody, make everybody happy. Morning, how you doing? The happiness is infectious, and you can't have a conversation with this guy without being interrupted by one of his many fans. Morning, morning. What's up, T? You doing all right? How you doing? Good, good. How you doing? You doing all right? One of those fans sang Bobby's praises yeah. like a morning sparrow. He is the greatest person on the beach. He's like a friendly, happy, is part of the community. Like when I run, I, I look for him. And he looks for me. When I don't run, he's like, where are you? And I've been on one run, and he goes, you need some water? Here, I get some water out of my truck. Hey, that's what community is all about. Some people come out here, they be having problems. And they talk to me, and they come back like, oh, thank you, man. I feel much better, man. I'm, I'm coming to see you tomorrow. I'm coming to see you the next day. I'm coming to see you the next day. I say, good. They say, you're a good person. You're a people person. I say, I know. I just try to make everybody happy. Including you sad, I'm still going to put a smile on your face. You could be hurting. You're going to leave me happy. The only question is, who's happier, Bobby or the people he makes smile every day? See you tomorrow. Thanks again to Bobby and everybody on our team who makes stories like this happen. That's it for this edition of the FTL City News. For more, check us out on social media. And of course, for all things Fort Lauderdale, go to our website, fortlauderdale.gov. We'll see you next time.